What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Groove on wireless earphones with active noise cancelling and ambient pass-through I picked up at Walmart for $49.88. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions as well as a comparison to Apple's AirPods Pro which I believe these look very similar. We're going to see what comes in the box and last but not least we are going to see just what these look like in our ear and we're going to see how comfortable they are and we're going to see how good they sound. I did review a pair of $25 wireless earbuds from Walmart about a year ago. They were pretty good. They received a pretty positive reception. People overall liked those earbuds, but the only thing they were lacking was active noise canceling or any type of ambient pass-through. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions. I am super excited to hear what these sound like. Okay, so the reason why I want to compare these to the Apple AirPods Pro is not because they look exactly the same. As you can see, they have the same egg-shaped case. They are white. They have the LED indicator lights on the front of the case. They have touch controls. They come with added ear tips for a better, more secured fit, just like the AirPods Pro. They have IPX5 and up to 24 hours playtime again just like the AirPods Pro, but the only difference here is that A, the AirPods Pro are $250, as where these are $50. This comes with a wireless charging case, just like the AirPods Pro, and again, the only difference is going to be charging. This is Lightning, this is USB Type-C. Both have a wireless charging enabled case, leading me to believe that the only difference between these two earbuds is going to be fit and finish, which we will take a look at, and last but not least, audio quality, which does include ambient pass-through ability and ability to cancel out noise. So let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions, see what comes in the box, and then we're gonna compare the fit and finish between the two, and then we'll do a sound impressions at the end. And momentarily before we get the earbuds out of the box, there is a window you can open up in store to see what comes in the box and how to set these up. If you are just a little bit worried, you aren't able to figure them out or they might be a little bit too advanced for you. As you can see, you take them out of the box and Walmart is very clear about this. You need to put them in the charging case first to charge, activate, and then be able to connect them. As you can see, they do come out of the charging case. What's also really interesting here is you get five pair of ear tips, probably including the ones already installed. But what's interesting, I think you'll note, is the very top smallest pair of added ear tip are a sort of grayish color. So we'll have to take a look at those. That's pretty fascinating. I've never seen more than three ear tip included in the box. And last but not least, you do get a microphone so you can take calls on these earbuds, which is a question everyone has about wireless earbuds, especially ones as cheap as these. So it's nice to see that on the inside of the lid here. And then last but not least, you can see the length actually of the USB charging cable. This will be a case you'll have to sort of uh, hang off the wall because it does look a little bit shorter, but not a big deal. But if you want to see what comes in the box, all you have to do is open up the lid on the front. Okay, so now that we have everything out of the box, you can see just exactly what comes with it. First and foremost, you get this exceptionally in-depth user guide, which I highly appreciate. The first section goes over what exactly comes in the box. As you can see, we get the charging cable, the user manual itself, the earbuds with the small ear tips installed. We get the four added ear tips if we want to resize them, and we get the charging case itself. Everything listed here is in front of us, which I am super happy about. Secondly, it does go over how to set this charging case up. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm going over these instructions because this is all extremely easy to use, but there is one feature here I wanna point out that I really do appreciate Walmart and On for including here with these earbuds, 
and it does have to do with the charging case and these earbuds being on and off. So to get these activated, you must first put them in the charging case and then take them out so they can connect and pair to your device. Now, when you're using them on a daily basis, once you've got past the initial first impressions and unboxing and setup, you will find yourself using these in various ways and sometimes you'll find yourself using them without the charging case. Sometimes I go for a walk down the street, maybe I'm taking the trash out, maybe I'm taking the dog for a walk, or maybe I just simply don't need the charging case because it's too bulky, maybe I'm going for a run, maybe I'm going for a walk, and I don't want the added bulk, and I know I'll be back before the earbuds run out, so it's really not necessary to bring the charging case, and that's what I really love about this third page here on the user manual. It does go over how to use the earbuds, basically how to turn them off and turn them back on without the charging case. So if you actually hold down on the right earbud for five seconds, you can manually turn the earbud off and turn them off. So if you do go out and you don't have your charging case, but you need to take the earbuds out of your ear and put them in your pocket, it is possible to do so. So definitely consult this user guide because it has features that you don't know exist ones that will come in handy because you will find yourself using these a variety of ways. Second to last is a page going over how to operate the earbuds, answering calls, rejecting calls, the voice assistant, uh, ambient mode versus noise canceling mode, skipping tracks, rewinding tracks. One thing I don't see here is how to adjust the volume of the music from the earbud itself, which is a popular feature on earbuds in this price range. But as you can see, for 50 bucks, they come with enough features as it is, so I'm really not disappointed about being able to adjust my audio volume. And last but not least, you do get a pretty good rundown of how to tell the difference between a fully charged set of earbuds, a dead pair of earbuds, if they are charging, if they're pairing, and all of the different flashing lights. Uh, you can also see that it is wireless charging compatible. They do have a Qi wireless charging puck in the diagram here. Really awesome to see all of this stuff in a package only costing $50. Just like the user manual states, you will want to put the earbuds in the charging case first, close the lid, then open the lid. As you can see, you do get some flashing lights on the top of the earbud themselves. We'll flip open the charging case here. You shouldn't need to take the earbuds out of the case. They should come right up and they do, so we'll click on True Wireless ANC, and just like that, they're connected. Okay, so now that I've explained to you the differences between each earbud, from a specifications standpoint, now that we've done the unboxing, we've seen what comes in each box, now we can compare the differences between the AirPods Pro and the on wireless earphones. As you can see, they look very similar in style. The AirPods Pro are just slightly smaller. You can also see the difference between the case uh, finish. The AirPods Pro are a glossy plastic as where the on earbuds are a matte plastic. As you can see, the AirPods case does get dirty and grimy. The earbuds themselves also get dirty and grimy because they are made of the exact same material. And you'll notice that there is a scuff going across the AirPods Pro case. The good news here is because AirPods Pro do have such a wide and varied ecosystem, it's not an issue finding a third party case to keep these protected. However, with the on wireless earphones, you will have that issue, so just keep that in mind. You can also see some other differences, like in size. The on wireless earbuds case is much larger in size. It's much taller, it's much wider. It's even deeper, I would say. And if you actually look at the earbuds themselves, you can see that the on wireless earbuds have that same matte finish as the case they come in, but the stems of the earbuds themselves are actually longer than the AirPods Pro and actually look more akin to the regular AirPods. You'll notice a few things here. I think the on earbuds are definitely a little bit bigger. The case is wider, it's deeper, it's taller. The on earbuds are also bigger. I would say the stem is longer than the AirPods Pro. And I would say that the 
driver is probably the same size, but I think the chassis is bigger on the on earbuds compared to the AirPods Pro. Not sure how that's going to fare, if that's going to make a difference at all. The AirPods Pro do have a unique design that actually grab on to the earlobe itself. This does not look like it grabs onto the earlobe. This looks more akin to the original AirPods, which do fit in my ear fairly well. Uh, the AirPods Pro also fit in my ear fairly well. As you can see, you do get the added ear tips, both with the AirPods Pro and the on wireless earbuds. So these should be great to work out in. Uh, but a couple of differences I think you'll notice here are A, that the matte finish on the uh, on earbuds is different from the glossy finish on the AirPods Pro. And this is important because this will have an impact on how you handle them. I think the AirPods Pro are definitely more prone to slipping. They do become slippery and hard to handle from time to time. Also, one thing I want to point out here is the tactility of the touch control on the side of the earbud itself. The on wireless earbud is extremely tactile and is a pleasure to use so far. And actually, having used the touch controls on the AirPods Pro. One thing that's really cool about them is they are inactive when the earbuds themselves are off and disconnected from your phone. As you might remember, we already did connect the on wireless earbuds, but I can confirm because I have been using these since launch day that the touch controls on the side are extremely responsive and tactile and easy to use. So we'll compare that as well. But now that we've seen the differences between the earbuds, uh, we've compared them size-wise, we've compared them according to shape, uh, color, finish. Let's go ahead and get these in our ear and see how they sound. Okay, so just to compare what these look like in our ear, I will start with the AirPods Pro. You'll see how easy it is to insert them in my ear and start listening to music. So here is the AirPods Pro. I'll give you my first impressions and my feedback on what it's like to wear the AirPods Pro. They fit in your ear snugly. As you can see, they are very small and minimalist looking. They don't protrude out of the ear. The stem of the AirPods Pros do not dangle low like the original AirPods. These are definitely more compact. They have active noise canceling and ambient pass-through. Currently, I have these set to ambient pass through but if i actually hold down on the right stem or the left stem i can activate noise canceling and it's absolutely phenomenal i've listened to active noise canceling driving around in the car which is loud like an airplane it does a phenomenal job of blocking out road noise and ambient noise uh, it can even drown out the sound of loud trucks driving by or maybe if i'm park next to a loud truck at a stoplight, the noise canceling does a really good job of just drowning that out so I can hear my music or hear who I'm talking to. And last but not least, the added ear tips with the AirPods Pro just make them so comfortable and easy to use. Now, one thing I was saying earlier was this glossy plastic finish does get slippery from time to time. You do have to clean these and wipe them off. Uh, Earwax and grease do build up on the earbuds, making them hard to handle. So that is one area where I think the Groove earbuds will excel because they are a matte finish. So let's go ahead and get the on earbuds in our ear. Uh, you do have a right and left lettering on each earbud. So it's extremely simple to figure out which one's which. Obviously this is right and this one's left. Now I will say, I have been wearing the AirPods Pro for quite some time, so they are a little bit broken in. They do slide in and out of my ears a little bit more confidently. You don't think they're gonna stay in your ear or you don't believe they have the ability to stay in your ear. It's almost like magic, uh, but you'll find out very soon that they're really not an issue and they're actually extremely comfortable. Uh, these are no different. And what's really nice is you get the added ear tips in the box. So if you do need a larger pair, you can do that. Now, the buttons on the side are actually extremely tactile and easy to use. Uh, they don't hurt pushing them into my ear. As you can see, I'm actually holding down on the right earbud here, and I am actually toggling through ambient and noise canceling modes. 
What's interesting is it actually has three modes. It has normal, ambient, and noise canceling. So currently I am on normal. If I hold the button down, it goes into ambient sound. And it's a little bit interesting because I really don't hear much of a difference between normal and ambient, except things just sound slightly sharper and a little bit more tinny. Okay guys, so the verdict is in. Now, I will talk about audio quality here, but I think audio quality on both earbuds is good, okay? I think you're going to have an enjoyable experience on either or. The only difference between these earbuds is how they sound when you're listening to them in each mode. So noise canceling mode, ambient pass through or off. What I have noticed is when you switch between active noise canceling and ambient pass through on the AirPods Pro, your music sounds exactly the same. Uh, I would say there is no loss in audio quality or degradation in audio quality. Uh, you switch from active noise cancellation to ambient pass through and your music is just as loud as it was on the previous setting. The only difference is you can hear outside noise coming in and distracting you. With the on wireless earbuds, it does a little bit of tuning when you switch in between modes. So uh, it actually sounds a little bit louder and a little bit clearer when you have it in ambient mode. And when you actually switch music over to uh, noise canceling mode, it does sound a little bit uh, thumpier and a little bit more uh, closed off. It sounds a little bit more controlled. Uh, like if you were working uh, in a sound room, like with a bunch of sound deadening panels and things like that, it's definitely doing some tweaking to the music so it makes up for the noise canceling abilities or the ambient pass through ability. Both the noise canceling and the ambient pass through features work well. I would say they're not as good as the AirPods Pro. When I have ambient pass through on AirPods Pro, uh, my snaps are clear. It sounds basically if I was just standing here with nothing in my ear, but just amplified because they are electronic and uh, they are directly in your ear. Definitely some fine tuning going on with the on wireless earbuds. Uh, the only tuning that goes on with the AirPods Pro is when you're switching between EQ. Now, like I said, both do have a wide and varied sound stage, so you can use multiple EQ settings on each, but the differences here are going to be with noise canceling and ambient pass through, which do have an effect on the music with the Groove wireless earbuds and not an effect on music with the AirPods Pro. Anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing and first impressions of the Groove on wireless earbuds with active noise canceling and ambient pass through compared to the Apple AirPods Pro. These were $50, these are $250. The biggest difference between the two is going to be with active noise canceling and ambient pass through. Listening to music on these headphones here is great, as well as on here. Uh, the noise canceling works, the ambient pass through works. You get a great amount of playtime here, up to 24 hours. You get IPX5 water resistance, you get the wireless charging case, you get easy connection, just like the AirPods Pro. The only difference is that when you switch to noise canceling, you will have a degradation in music quality or a difference in music quality, I think, uh, between pass-through mode and noise canceling mode, as where with the AirPods Pro, when you switch between noise canceling and ambient mode, there is no degradation or difference in the way your music sounds, making the AirPods Pro, I think, just the more superior and versatile option. That being said, both are a tremendous pleasure to listen to music to even the on wireless earbuds for 50 bucks these sound phenomenal i thought they were crisp they were loud they were clear i think the airpods are just a little bit louder but for the most part this is a great deal uh, again it just comes down to switching between ambient and noise canceling and you're not going to enjoy or disenjoy your music switching between modes you'll just have to adjust to it here, there is no adjusting at all. Anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing and first impressions. I really hope you enjoyed this video because I picked 
up the groove on wireless earbuds from Walmart that does make them a big box good. My name is John. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe, share this video with friends and family, and tell them we review things from Walmart and Target and Dick's Sporting Goods, as well as online stores like Amazon and other stores. And be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when I post to YouTube. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in and joining me today. I hope you enjoy this video. My name is John. I will see you in the next one.